Some people have always been afraid of bridges. The sufferers of Jafiraphobia often try to avoid crossing bridges altogether, driving miles out of their way to avoid them. Of course, some bridges can also be challenging experiences for those with acrophobia, like some bridges. However, terror seems to be the only sensible response. Here are the 12 bridges that would turn anyone's legs to jelly. Don't look down. 12th place Ashima Ohashi Bridge, Japan. Located in western Japan, the Ashima Ohashi Bridge looks more like a roller coaster than a road. It connects five cities in Japan and is essentially a road to outer space, a journey of sickness and nausea if you're driving on this bridge. It is one of the most spectacular bridges, and the bridge itself is a two-lane road that rises so steeply, scaring even the bravest drivers with its ridiculously steep incline, while allowing ships to pass underneath. The concrete road stretches for almost two kilometers and sends drivers skyward on a very sharp gradient of 6.1% through Lake Nakamura. It is the largest rigid frame bridge in Japan. If you look directly at the bridge's ridiculously steep incline, it makes it look more like a roller coaster than a road for cars. Would you have the courage? Let us know in the comments. 11th place. Aya Kazurabashi, Japan. One of the most unusual looking bridges, Aya Kazurabashi is found in the Aya Valley of Japan amidst mountains and hot springs. The Vine Bridge is 45 meters long and only 14 meters above the Ogawa River. But what it lacks in height, it compensates in strangeness. It is built from a plant that, although relatively strong, is not really suitable for bridge construction because it is not durable and prone to rotting. However, the resilient kiwi vine was used so that the bridge could be quickly cut in case of invaders, thus preventing the invading army from crossing the gorge. The bridge is reconstructed every three years, and the lines are fastened high to cedar trees on both sides of the gorge. Nowadays, the health and safety of the lines also hide steel cables, providing an extra layer of security, and the gaps between the bridge steps offer a view of the river below, adding to the bridge's swaying motion. Tenth place, Hussaini Hanging Bridge, Pakistan. The Hussaini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan hardly deserves the name bridge. The current bridge is an improved new version, as the first version was even more terrifying and got destroyed by the weather. The bridge is made of ropes and wooden planks, with a constant chilling wind blowing, causing the bridge to sway violently. At least 10 people have died while crossing the bridge. According to locals, if you fall, you will be dragged by the river below. Ninth place, Hongyagu Bridge, China. Sometimes it seems like bridge architects are crazy people. Just look at the design of the Hongyagu Bridge, opened at the end of 2017. They built a bridge that stretches for 488 meters over a sheer drop of 220 meters. That's stressful enough for most people, but the designers decided to add a glass floor so that users could have an excellent view of the valley beneath them, tricking their minds into believing that there's nothing holding them up. And if that wasn't enough, they decided to give the bridge an additional twist. The glass panels are 4 centimeters thick, which doesn't seem like much when it's the only thing between you and death. The bridge can accommodate up to 2,000 people at a time, but only 600 can walk on it. Visitors have to wear gloves and shoe covers to protect the glass from scratches or breakage. There are staff members in the middle of the bridge to assist those who feel weak or afraid to continue. There's even a sound effect that makes each step feel like the glass is cracking. Phew! 
what a terrifying experience. Eighth place, Kwandinsky Bridge, Russia. You have to have nerves of steel to drive along this bridge in Russia. To cross the Kwandinsky Bridge, drivers must navigate a narrow path of almost two kilometers without guardrails or safety features to prevent them from falling into the frozen water below. The old metal structure is covered with wooden planks that can be slippery due to snow and ice, according to the locals. The bridge was originally built to be part of the city's railway line, but that plan never materialized, leaving the 1,500 residents of the village to use the bridge. The decaying structure has allegedly not seen any repairs in the past three decades since it was built, making it a dangerous journey. For those brave enough to cross it, they also have to face the fierce and gusty winds that sway the bridge. Interestingly, there have never been any accidents or fatalities linked to this bridge. Seventh place, Keswashaka Bridge, Peru. The Keswashaka Bridge is located on the Grand Inca Road to the Andes and is the best remaining example of an Inca suspension bridge. Bridges were crucial for connecting and consolidating the Inca Empire, and they continued to be used as common elements of the road system for centuries. During times of conflict, the bridges were cut to protect the inhabitants from intruders. When the Spanish invaded, many of the bridges were burned. Inca bridges are made of natural fibers, forming the handrails, floors, and vertical ties, with stone pillars and steel anchoring on both sides. Crossing this bridge is not a smooth experience, it requires caution. However, it offers a great view of the river below. Every year, the bridges have to be remade by weaving them again to ensure they continue to function properly. Sixth place, Coiling Dragon Path Bridge. If you're afraid of heights, then this bridge is not for you. But don't worry, you're not alone, I wouldn't dare to cross it either. Many people would look at this adventure and turn the other way. This terrifying structure is part of the latest addition to China's glass bridge mania. The 100-meter-high skywalk features 99 turns around the cliffside of Tianmen Mountain. For those immune to the terror of a vertical drop, it's a perfect photo opportunity. The bravest of tourists can enjoy spectacular views deep within the Runya area. Fifth place, Jihasa Suspension Bridge, Nepal. The Jihasa Suspension Bridge, perhaps should be called the Swaying Bridge of Gaza, due to the high altitude and strong winds in the area. The bridge sways when crossing it, although it may appear quite fragile, it is said to be quite sturdy and is still used for moving livestock. While animals sometimes struggle to cross the bridge, it was built to alleviate congestion on other bridges and is used daily by local residents and their animals. Fourth place, Ojuela Bridge, Mexico. Even the road leading to the Ojuela Bridge is difficult to cross. The bridge itself is terrifying, stretching about 300 meters in length and suspended nearly 100 meters above a chasm. The bridge is only 0.6 meters wide. Fortunately, the Ojuela Bridge is now used only by pedestrians, but in the past, it was used by animals and for transporting goods. Originally built in 1898, the bridge was used to transport gold and silver extracted from local mines. As you walk, the bridge sways, and although there are handrails, the gaps between the boards are wide, allowing you to have a clear view of what lies below. Traffic also moves in both directions, so you may be pushed while walking. If you are brave enough to cross this bridge, you can visit the ghost town, the museum, and one of the abandoned mines. 
third place, Titlis Cliff Walk Bridge, Switzerland. To cross the Titlis Cliff on foot, you will first need to climb Mount Titlis, where you will find the bridge awaiting you, or you can walk through the glacier cave, through an underground tunnel to reach it. Mount Titlis stands at almost 3,000 meters above sea level, and the bridge is approximately 100 meters long, but only 1 meter wide. It stretches from one rock to another in the Swiss Alps, spanning a deep chasm of about 500 meters. Walking in single file, it is said to take 150 steps to cross the abyss. Once you reach the other side, you can take the cable car to the mountain's summit. I can't imagine why no one thought of simply building the cable car on the other side without having to go through the bridge. Second place, Royal Gorge Bridge, Colorado. The world's tallest bridge until 2001, it was built in 1929 for a modest $350,000. The bridge stretches 384 m across the magnificent Royal Gorge in Colorado, with the Arkansas River flowing far below. The distance from the bridge to the river is 291 m, and it took only six months to construct. The two main cables, each weighing 200 tons, consist of over 2,000 individual cables twisted together. Over a thousand wooden planks were screwed into the base to form the bridge deck. The bridge has a tendency to sway due to foot traffic, which can be terrifying when crossing a canyon. If you don't feel comfortable on the bridge, you can take a cable car to the other side. First place, 11 kilometers bridge, Florida. While most bridges have gained infamy for inducing terror due to their heights, the 11 km bridge in Florida is only 20 meters above the water at its highest point. But don't be fooled, this bridge is still very intimidating. The 11 km bridge plunges straight into the ocean, and once you're on the bridge, all you can see for miles is the bridge and the ocean. This sense of vulnerability is what makes this bridge so terrifying, especially when you consider the fact that if you have an accident or your car breaks down, you'll be stranded until help arrives. If that wasn't bad enough, once on the bridge, you'll be at the mercy of Mother Nature. Storms are constant and can occur without warning, leaving those already on the bridge with no choice but to forge ahead, filled with trepidation. Now, tell me, which of these bridges would you have the courage to cross? Leave your answer in the comments. If you enjoy content like this, watch the videos we've selected to discover more fascinating curiosities about the wonders of this mysterious world. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and activate our notifications. Thank you very much, and until the next video, bye-bye.